Hello everyone, I am going to do another acrylic pour. pour. I already uh, prepared the paints, so um, yeah, I uh, used a pouring medium and silicones and I just use these silicones for cars because it's cheaper and it does the trick. Uh, and I already prepared everything so this video won't take extremely long and it's quite easy to do this yourself so first I am going to um, pour these canvases with the uh, white liquid paint and in the white paint there are no silicones but in the colored paints that I will use next uh, there are silicones so there are silicones in these and uh, pouring medium and in these there are there's white paint and pour, uh, pouring medium uh, I also I also have a hair dryer that I will use and I hope this experiment turns out the way I want it to so yeah Hope you enjoy this video. Oh, I some little dust. And there are quite a lot of bubbles, so I hope they'll settle down, but we'll see. These uh, canvases were uh, canvases with prints from my mother. She didn't really want them anymore, so I thought, let's recycle them and make some new beautiful art well I hope it will be beautiful okay I hope this will be enough white paint. So I'm trying this out because I also have a commission project that I want to do in this style. So yeah, I have to practice a little bit before making something similar for someone else. Oh yeah, acrylic pores are always fun. I quite like to do more detailed painting as well, paintings as well. You can find them on my Instagram at the Garden of at the Lower Bar Garden of Eve. But yeah, I love just flowy stuff and and I also think it's nice for other people so because it's easy to try it yourself and art should be for everyone. I think it will be enough.
Maybe I'll paint the, the sides, the canvases, a different color, depending on how everything flows. But you gotta work with what you have. So I'm going to make the color paints diagonal on both sides, opposite from each other. And then I'll use the hair dryer to create the flowy pattern. can see a little bit of the bubbles, the cells popping up. Um, some blue. And just in case you don't know, my favorite colors are pink, blue and purple. follow this page on Instagram called the perfect pink house or something like that. That would be my dream. <laughs> cool. And some metallic gray. I also like shiny stuff. And this is more a um, nude pink color. But you can do this with any color combinations that you like. Would also be quite cool with a black background. brighter pink. This is with metallic too, I believe. Yay!
I noticed some extreme dripping. Okay, so this is the result while well, it's still wet. I'm quite satisfied. Thank you for watching.